All right, I get it. We're about to head into a recession and as a marketer, you're freaking the f out. Here's why. Because you're probably laying people off. You're probably charged with trying to save money. You're pulling back in your ad spend. No! You're worried if we're gonna head into 2023 and anybody's gonna wanna buy your products or your services. Well, I've got some good news. Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman. I talk about the world's most exciting business marketing and sales strategies so that both you and I can grow our businesses together. And today I'm talking about why 2023 could be a shining moment for you. When we head into a recessionary period, we've saw, we saw it in 2008, 2009, we saw it in COVID, and we saw it in other periods, ad prices go down. And the reason is simple supply and demand. All right, if there is an oversupply of ad space, whether it's digital or physical, whether it's a billboard or a Google ad, there's inventory that the companies want to sell off. So what do they do? They decrease their prices, okay? And why is there that oversupply? It's because the demand is shrinking. Why is the demand shrinking? The demand is shrinking because companies like yourself probably are freaking out and trying to save money. They're pulling their ad budget out of lower or medium performing platforms in order to save the money just in case shit hits the fan. Well, listen, shit might hit the fan, but if you have money, ad prices are going to go down. And if ad prices go down, that means you can deploy the capital that you do have across those advertising platforms and get a better deal on your advertising. Now, of course, consumers may be less willing to spend. So you have to identify who your customers are, what their trigger points are, what their hopes, dreams, and fears are, and if they're the type of customer that is going to be in a tough spot during a recessionary period. So if you're selling luxury goods, if you're selling you know, recession resistant or recession proof like products like, you know, household cleaning supplies and, you know, basic personal items. If you're in any of these industries, you need to pull some cash and sit and wait and watch the ticker go down for when the, uh, you know, the CAC and the CPAs and the, and the CPCs are all going down so that you can jump on that. You're going to get a much better deal and you're in an industry that your customers are not going to be as impacted by the recession. So you're going to get a better return on your ad spend when these ad prices go down. Now, if you're in an industry where consumers are tightening their belt, you're you know, a non-essential item, you're not a luxury item, you, know, you may see your consumer spending go down. Thus, the lower ad prices might come down with your, your actual conversions. But if you can make it come down at a relative level, then you're kind of in the same place you are now, right? If your, if your conversions go down and the ad costs go down, you can still deploy money on advertising and be successful. So pay attention because ad prices are going to go down. Basically, if you don't have to save all your money because you're about to go out of business, then save some of it to spend on marketing. Because if you look back over history, the brands that came out of the 2008, 2009 recession at the top were the ones that were the most active. The brands that came out of COVID on the top were the ones that were most active. They were the ones that kept marketing. They were the ones that kept their sales team active and out there. It's a, it's a guy in a, a peer group that I'm a part of. Um, his name is Patrick Campbell. He owns a, a company called ProfitWell. And uh, look him up, great follow on Twitter for sure. And um, he put this post out that basically said, you know, the, the brands that are gonna win are the ones that stay active during this period. He said, and by the way, his company is a software program that helps capture reoccurring revenue, like lost revenue. So he's using these millions of data points that his software uses on Shopify stores and membership sites and reoccurring revenue sites, you know, hundreds of thousands of them. And he said the brands that are gonna be the most active are the ones that are gonna win because of the residual effect. Sure, you might not get a client today, you might not get a customer today, but the more active you are now, at the end of 12 or 24 months, when we're back and people are spending money again and we're out of a recession and inflation is down and rates are down and we're back to the, that point, if you've been the most active, you're the brand that people are gonna migrate to. No, so, so you have to ask yourself the question, would you rather pull money back and save it right now? All right, I'm not talking to those of you out there that are just trying to survive, like not go out of business, right? But if you're kind of nickel and diming and you're like, let's save some money just in case this goes down, but you've got enough cash, you've got a lot, a, a, enough cash to weather 12 months. So I'm talking to those companies out there. If you're in this position, you need to think about how do we efficiently, I'm not saying throw cash everywhere, efficiently have touch points across all channels 
with our audience, with our customers from now until at least 12 months from now? How can we be incredibly active so that yes, we can survive, yes, we can still run our business, but at the end of 12 months, we want all of that attention that we've been investing in over the 12 months. Because without a doubt, you've got two, three, four, 10, 15, 20 competitors that are all thinking like you and trying to save money, but you probably only have one or two other competitors that are getting ready to dive in, to, to, to make use of lower ad costs, to make use of uh, a greater return on ad spend, to make use of the industry and the market sort of tightening their belt because they're gonna dive in and try to win the attention of everybody during this period. So. I encourage you to try to make it you. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you need any other marketing tips or you enjoy this kind of content, head over to my website, jtimmerman.com. Uh, I give away a lot of free resources and templates over there, so cold call scripts, marketing subject lines, email subject lines, marketing copy, uh, design ideas, all of that kind of stuff over there, checklists for you and your department. So head over to jtimmerman.com, and I'll see you in the next video.